Oh, that was so crazy. He went for me. I, I got attacked. Hello YouTube, my name is Levin. Hello YouTube, my name is Levi Nonemaker and you're watching Skate the 48. I'm traveling light across the 48 contiguous United States of America to help raise awareness for our homeless veterans. And today, I'm in Lakeland, Florida at Fletcher Park. And we are about to hit up this dank skate park. All right, let's check it out. This place is awesome, dude. Ooh, they got a mini snake around there. Ooh! Counts! <laughs> oh yeah. Oh ho ho, close. Yeah, I get dolphin flip. Oh man, I thought he was gonna do something. Oh. What is that thing? Ooh. <laughs> yeah, let's get it. That's what you meant by there it is. Ooh. There that's is, a dog. nice one. Still skatable. Right. Are you gonna try to get that dolphin? Yeah, dog. How, how Put that you... board to bed. Yeah, dog. Hey. <laughs> oh, ho, ho. One of the guys in the skate park Woo! ended up uh, offering to let me stay at his house for the night and kick my butt in yeah. football. And then told me that I could pretty much eat whatever I wanted in his pantry and there was... Uh... Good morning! It is 6.18 in the morning and it's busy out. I'm gonna be heading to Tampa next. It's uh, how far is Tampa? Damn. When I was getting ready to leave the skate park, I noticed that my board was slightly damaged and I actually ended up stumbling upon a guy that I used to skate with in Orange Park and he gave me this board. So I just wanted to give him a little bit of a shout out for helping me along on this journey. Today, I am leaving Lakeland taking US 92 to get to Tampa. It's about 30 miles away. Uh, I've already skated maybe a little less than 10 miles today, so we're gonna see if we can make it. It's a little bit late in the day. I spent most of the morning editing my videos. It's four o'clock right now. Let's hope I can make it. Okay guys, let me get up somewhere a little bit quieter. So, uh, I was gonna try to make it to Tampa today, and I'm still gonna try to at least make it halfway there. But something pretty crazy just happened. Um, I had stopped in front of a business uh, that seemed to be closed down. There was just one car sitting there. 
And then this other vehicle pulls up, and I'm guessing they were the business owners because, or the owners of the building, because they walked up to the building and they unlocked the chain. I was sitting on the, uh, sitting on the little girder thing where cars pull up to. My mind's really drawing a blank right now. This man came around with his dog, a pit bull, and, uh, Animal instinct, man. The the pit bull, he saw me. He perceived me as a threat. He went for me. I got attacked. And I'm also not going to hold anything against the dog owner or the dog for what happened because that dog is an animal and it was acting on instinct. When it lunged at me, I saw it in his eyes a split second before he reached me. I mean, he got my hand a little bit, and the only thing that saved me, see anything missing there? The only thing that saved me from getting my arm ripped off by a pit bull was my watch. Tooth went into that watch. The face is completely busted in, but hey, this is... This watch is the real OG. It just saved me from possibly losing part of a limb. So, um, shout out to Casio for making some dank watches, I guess. I'm probably gonna keep this as a memento. It's pretty crazy. Understandably, I'm taking a small break because that was honestly a little bit, I mean, I don't even know if I felt fear. It wasn't that, it was just this, like, you need to get away. I, what happened was, as soon as the dog came up on me, I used my arm to, to sort of, like, shoulder his bite because he was coming straight at me from my right side. And as soon as he got right about here, like, he gripped onto my arm and ripped my watch off and just barely nicked me. You know, a little bit right there, a little bit on the underside. His owner tried to tame him, or tried to get him away from me. When I started to gather my stuff again, because my pocket was open, so like all my stuff flew everywhere. As soon as, as soon as he attacked me and, and like ripped the watch off, I hightailed it out of there and started running. I could turn around and the guy had a hold of his dog. And, um, like, he took him back home, which was, like, right next door. And the business owners came out to check if I was okay. And then, um, the man pointed on the ground and said, is that your watch? And I was like, oh, no, that's not my watch. And then I looked at my wrist. I was like, wait, where did my watch go? Picked it up and then realized, yeah, that's, that's my watch. He's junk now. Not even a minute afterward, I saw the dog running around the corner and his owner chasing after him. Not fast enough, mind you. And the dog came at me again. I, I, I tried backing away and appearing large. That didn't work. So it lunged at me, jaws open, and I put my foot in his mouth. Not literally, but I, I had no other choice but to kick the dog away. I didn't want to hurt the dog, but I wasn't going to let it freaking bite me. So I kicked it. And it, I mean, it worked for a second. It got, the dog went off to the side and I saw him, he, like he, he was wanting to attack me again, but that one kick gave his owner enough time to catch up with him and then get a hold of him. I'm honestly just happy to still have a hand. <laughs> that could have been a lot worse. All right. So I'm gonna dress up this wound. I got a first aid kit that I got from the VFW. Once I get that, I will, I guess, try to make it to Plant City. I don't know if you can see that. Gosh, that's a beautiful sunset. This universe is absolutely incredible. Look at that sunset. Not sure which way to go that way, that way. Probably should call my mom because 
Uh, she'll just she'll just be happy that I'm alive. It's a beautiful day. Out. <laughs> oh, that was so crazy. Well, that's it for today's video, you guys. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and tap that notification bell to be updated whenever I upload a new video. And if you like and want to be a part of my cause, then consider becoming a patron on Patreon. Patreon is a platform that allows viewers like you to directly support creators like me. And as with all of my videos, a portion of all funds received will go directly to helping homeless veterans. I have some more that I didn't necessarily get to share about this experience, so there will be sort of a part two or a follow-up video to this one. Just to give a rundown of my thoughts on the situation after I was able to recollect. Shout out to my patrons on Patreon, Joe, Jack, my mom, and also a special thanks to Eric for coming in clutch. I'll tell you guys about that in the next video. Alright, love you guys. Deuces.